Hey guys, um, I'm doing another video of the Simon Lizotte Mystery Bots, and I know we've thrown the disc, we've opened the bots, looked at all the disc and all that type of stuff, but we've seen this that I didn't notice at first. It says reuse your bots, and it basically just tells you you can use it for storage, decoration, that type of stuff, but we thought this is a cool logo on here, so how could we make a little like stand out of it for a disc? So we have these that are like a dollar and um, we're going to put it on here like this and draw it out and have a stand because some of my discs you can see from both sides from where they are at. And all you really need is just this very cheap um, marker, pen, scissors, a knife. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Here's what we're going to do is first you put this up here. You kind of line it up. Um, have it down a little and you're gonna want to uh, outline this area all the way over to like in here and stop here and I'm gonna push this up a tad bit because we want it to be a little bit higher and go this area and after I'm done with that I'm gonna put a bowl because we want to keep the logo still in there and we're gonna go around here all the way to the top and then I cut it out yeah you flip it over to the other side yeah and then you flip it over to the other side Um, after you're done doing all your lines and you use the bowl because you want to get the logo in there and after you get the other side you just want to cut it out and I'll tell you guys what happens after that. Now that we cut it out um, we, re we uh, realize we have to cut the corners off a tad bit or the disc won't fit in there correctly and after that you can't bend it or you'll put lines through here and ruin the whole logo. So you need to find like a board or something, and I just happen to have one of my first place trophies here to use. It has a nice edge for this, so you just line it up, and you just push down hard where you kind of like get it where it's creased. And do you have a disc over there or something? Yeah, let's see here. Cloud. Yeah, that works. You want to talk about what you do with the marker? The marker? Yeah, the black. Oh, yeah. And we colored this because when the disc is in there, you can't really see any of this. You can only see, like, this part right here and the tip of that. So, if you want to. So, there. Put it over there. And the other side... So if you have like an area or a stand that you can see both sides, like over there, we you know, it looks like garbage right now, it's a ton of discs, but you can see both sides of where our discs are at, and it looks good. We're done with the stand, it looks really good. Um, I know a lot of people like to have discs and that from mystery botches that they love to keep or that type of stuff, but I counted there's six logos on the bots, and... Some of them have tape over them, some don't, but either way, it still looks good, and it's an easy way to make a stand. I know some people don't believe in having stand, or putting disc up on the wall, or having stands for them. They believe they should be thrown, but a lot of people do like that. So, I don't know why um, companies with their mystery boxes don't have a perforated one inside, where you can, like, punch it out, and, because everybody normally has one disc, or so they like to keep out their, uh, mystery bots but it looks pretty cool um i like it i'm gonna keep um okay, turn it back around okay there you go yeah. and use the marker and make it where it's black where you don't see the cardboard so. well that's all um like subscribe and share